remodeling a bathroom, it's all about the details. And the smaller the bathroom, the more you notice the details. We lived with our old shower for 20 years in this house. So we planned every detail of this new bathroom as if we were gonna be living with it for another 20 years. Classic Carrera marble and white fixtures, polished chrome finishes, and a QM drain. I was only doing this once. It had to be perfect. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I installed this IKEA Hemnes collection, the vanity and medicine cabinet, as well as the sink and the plumbing and all that. And obviously, we chose this vanity because of the ample storage of these two drawers. They're full extension drawers, and there's no cutout for any kind of pipes. It's like magic. Let me show you how I did it. Here's what I'm looking at from the rough plumbing perspective. This is hot, this is cold, and that's of course the drain. Uh, this configuration I created years ago when I replaced the vanity before because there was a drawer here and that valve would have been in, or was in the way, so I made that angled. That's fine for me because I don't need to worry about it. I could leave it there. But the drain is a bit of a problem. We went with the IKEA vanity because I like the plumbing the best. It holds the pipes out of the way far behind the drawers so you actually get two full height drawers underneath the vanity which is like unheard of because most of them need to take you know save room for pipes. So the trick behind it is that all the pipes are kept nice and close to the wall. And the first piece that I have to worry about is this one. It goes into the drain and goes down into the P-trap. The trouble is this connector that was on here before is too far. It would stick too far out. So I have to replace it. Now I went to my plumbing supply, told them my situation, and they gave me this slip joint that with a combination with this this ring right here and this nut will grab around this pipe and create a watertight seal. The only thing is I have to solder this onto that pipe. Now that's a copper pipe. Of course the plumbing supply guy said, well why didn't you replace it all with PVC? I said, nah, it affects both bathrooms on both sides. So I wasn't willing to, to mess with it. And I'm still not. So that's why I'm adapting it, but that's what I'm working on now. I've got my, my torch and some solder, and I'm gonna prep it and solder it. This thing is sweet. I went for years with the old fashioned one and uh, you know the one that's connected to the the uh, tank and my arm would break holding it this is such a luxury now and it uses this yellow map gas which is just a whole lot hotter it should take nothing to solder this all right now that that's cool I cut this down so it will fit in there. That goes on here. There's a slip nut. This is clean. trap can swing either side but obviously it won't work here with these pipes so I can put it here no problem all right I ran the water on the other side and that filled up the P trap and I checked for leaks and everything is dry so we are good to go and now I have to drill into my nice tile. 
Oof. This is the Rotviken sink. It's a, a pretty shallow bowl, and if you're okay with that, this kind of a system could work for you because the drain does not go down very deep, and that's what enables us to have full depth door drawers. The first thing I did was put the overflow drain on, and that's what this black tube is here. And that's in the back here. Next, I'm going to install the faucet. These drawers go in pretty cool. They just kind of lay in the drawer glide and are held in with gravity and all the stuff that you put inside them. But there is a, there is a latch if you wanted to uh, secure them down, you can do that as well. Now these are slow close hinges as well, but I'm going to back this up real quick because I want to point out to you, just notice the clearance between the drain pipe and that drawer. That is what gives you all the space in this type of a vanity with this plumbing system. And that's why we went with it.
All right, there you have it. I just had to put in those three glass shelves in the medicine cabinet and fill it with stuff. And we have so much space in this bathroom now. We just love these fixtures. So hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one. Hey there, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be the first to know when new videos are posted. Look for Handy Dad TV on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and visit the website handydad.tv for more great ideas and information.